guys so today we're making my take on pinch of noms ham and chicken pie um, these are ingredients i use two chicken breasts some dijon some sunflower spray one onion four medium potatoes six rashes of bacon some salt and pepper light original cream cheese uh, two chicken octo cubes corn flour a packet of pre-made phyllo pastry and some peas first off you want to spray a pan with some oil and you want to get that onto like a medium heat next up chop your onions and um, i like mine really really small so the kids can't see them so i dice them as tiny as i can and then chuck those straight into the pan and let these cook for about 10 minutes and next up peel some spuds and again, dice these into kind of bite-sized pieces and then pop them on to parboil. I normally do mine in salted water for about five minutes, just until they're tender, like fork tender. Next up, chop your chicken into bite-sized pieces and add that to the pan and cook that for five or 10 minutes just so it's got some color on it. And then next up, we're going to use some scissors to cut off all the fat on the bacon and chop it into bite-sized pieces again and then we're going to add this to the pan it did not want to come off this board i was filming on my phone because my other camera was uh, out of battery um and then just yeah just cook the bacon and the chicken until it's completely and utterly cooked give it a nice stir turn it up a little bit if you need to my potatoes are boiling on the other hob while this cooks next up boil some water and do 400 millilitres of chicken stock i just use two chicken oxos you know how to make stock there you go chuck them in two chicken oxos and then i did a heaped dessert spoon of dijon mustard added to this uh, the recipe calls for english mustard powder but i don't like it and the kids don't like it either so i add dijon and it is absolutely delicious definitely my favorite kind of mustard i always feel like the other one tastes like iron <laughs> I've got blood in my mouth. Uh, next up, you can see all the chicken and bacon is cooked. So we're going to add the stock and deglaze the pan a bit. Just give it a bit of a, a swirl and a mix. And then we're going to get a tablespoon of corn flour. And then just add water to it, which you'll see in the next clip. Again, this is really difficult to do one handed. Um, I had to lean it. I'd like clean it against my belly to be able to stir it because the pan the little pot just wanted to fall off the side um but obviously if you're not filming it's easy we all know how to mix corn flour and this is going to act as your thickener we're going to pop this in dip it in and then really quickly mix, quickly mix it together so it makes the gravy nice and thick if it's stirring it'll continue to thicken as it cooks next up we're going to add about 75 grams of the cream cheese 76 whatever <laughs> and then add this and this makes the sauce super creamy and delicious you can't taste the cream cheese in it and um, you could probably use quark if you wanted to but i just use the low-fat cream cheese and then i'm gonna add some dried thyme i don't add too much of this just because if the kids see the little pieces in there they won't eat it for some reason so I just do a little sprinkling of thyme, which is really yummy. And then I didn't film it, but I added a little bit of salt, just like a pinch, because me and Ben tend to add it afterwards so the kids don't end up eating too much salt. And then an absolute crap ton of black pepper, because you can't ever have too much black pepper. In my opinion, it makes everything delicious. Keep stirring. Then next up, I added uh, 180 grams of frozen peas. These are petit pois, but if you have peas, that's fine. And then the boiled potatoes, give it a mix and then chuck it into your pie dish. Then get your phyllo and scrunch each sheet up and just add it to the top of the, um, the pie dish. And then you'll see in a second, <clears throat> that i am going to brush the top with butter this is obviously not in the pinch of nom recipe like the amount of butter and stuff that i use but none of us are calorie counting i'm growing a baby the kids like butter ben likes butter so we're adding it um and yeah once this is all done you just chuck it in the oven um it says for like 10 minutes but i need to chuck mine in on my oven for like 200 degrees for about 
25 minutes. Then you will see it comes out and it's all golden and delicious and lovely and I serve it with some extra veg. So this time I served it with some green beans. Um, yeah, if there's anything else you want me to make, please do let me know um, and I'll look into it. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.